I know, I know he'll watch this. I don't have anything against him, but he has a mother. He has a mother. And from what I see, he cherishes his mom. And I don't know how she raised him, but the disrespect is what got him the f He's When people say they love me, I never say it back because I you just- wrong. Wrong. You coming wrong because I had every right to say what I said. But because you love me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But you gotta have respect. Yeah. And the thing is, if respect is missing in anything and people lie on you or people do deceitful stuff to you, because one thing about me, it was hard breaking into it because I'm a woman. I'm an older woman at that. So people want to run over you, think you're ignorant, think that you can be ran over. And I'm not that. Well, you know, you know, you, you, you rubbing up against it. You know, um, I had rainwater on here. Um, we just gonna go on and get it all the way out there. You know, rainwater. You know, Mama Scott, I'm gonna be honest with you, last time you was on here, I don't know if you remember, but did you ever get your money back from Don Chief? No. You never got your money back? No. You never, he, no text or nothing? No. And what about, what, about the, uh, what about the other, no. what about the other, other guy? I know he's uh, got flyers no, and he's two or three doing of them. shows and stuff. It, it's but. two or three of them. It wasn't just him. It was a couple more too. You didn't get your money from anybody. No. They just ran off with the bag. Yep. But you know what? That's part of my fault, too. I'm going to assume responsibility behind paperwork. You know, I've always been... I'm going to say this. 90% of the people I've worked with, I've never had a contract with. That blows your mind, right? Yeah. The only one that I've ever had a contract with was T.I. I didn't have a contract with Boots either. But it, the business got handled. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had a contract with Sauce Walker. The business got handled. I ain't never had a, a contract with Big X the Plug. The business got handled. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I ain't never had a, a contract with Tech Luwap, Rico Reckless, Bugatti Casino. I ain't never had a contract. But when it comes to f shit, bro. I mean, this is just an industry. You got certain people. Now, I'm one of them people where I do have a big heart, right? And I just tend to believe that people are going to treat me the way I treat them. And I'm very, very transparent. But that's not life. It's not life. So it's teaching me, you know, some of my closest friends, like B.R. True, she's like, she's always on me about Mama Scott. You got to quit sending the money because I'm one of them type of people. I move so, so quick and I do a lot of stuff like. I just, if I got it, I just send it to get it out the way so I know it's done. And hey, you commit to it. I got a contract because a lot of people don't know text messages are contracts too. Mm -hmm. Right. So whenever I get ready to lay this lawsuit down on a lot of them, I'm going to go up to five times whatever they owe me. Right. And I have up to three years to do that. So it's a bunch of them. Uh, it's a bunch of them. So just know I'm not stupid. Wow. I just choose to let a person prove to me who they are. I'd rather know who you are solidly and then just not. My, my father, when he was living, he used to tell me, never never loan out more than you can afford to lose to nobody. Mm -hmm. So whenever I give money, I can afford to lose it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, I don't care what amount it is. If I had, if I, if I lost, if I wagered 50 grand and you screwed me on 50 grand, I had it to lose. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, and I, I'm so pro us, like blacks, until I try to put, if I, when God put me in position and blessed me, and even through my own detriment of things that I'm going through in my own personal life, I still find room to bless others, even through me going through my own storms. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's not mine anyway. I well, can't take it with me. That's my mindset. Well, you had the, the moolah guy, and you had a couple yeah. people that, that basically owed you money. Yes. But it seems that the Dallas Mulamo. Are, Mula mm -hmm. Mo and there was one more. Who was the other one? Uh, you gave me the text message. I didn't know. Oh, uh, Iced Up Mike. Iced Up Mike. Yes. Um, these people that took the money from that was a lot more than what yes. what uh, Chief and yes. Rainwater took. Yes. Uh, okay. But they all what, came what, back what and was apologized the, and they tried to make it right. I chose not to work with them anymore. Okay. So, so, so yeah, because Rain apologized too? No. What about Chief? No. So the Dallas people didn't apologize. No. But you do got some good Dallas people up here that did right by you. Little Runny. Yes. Uh, Half Pint. Mike Fresh. Mike Fresh. Yes. Uh, a lot of people do yes. right by you. Why do you think? Why do you think that that Rain decided not to come and because he told me, Mama Scott, that it was a uh, he was on a flight, that it was a hurricane, that it was some stuff going on, you know, that caused him. 
not to be able to show up, you know, and that was what he said. And, you know, when he talked about the fact of you always saying you love everybody. Mm hmm. And but then, how can you love him when you turn around and say, F you, blah, 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 blah. When you, when a person, you could be the nicest person in the world. A person keeps stepping on your toe, eventually you're going to say, ouch, right? So when you make a person's character change, this is behind, you can love a person all day. But if you show me something different, you can also, love, it's a thin line between love and hate, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when you draw that line and you make a person back up from you or you show a person that you really have some characters about you or some characteristics about you that they've never seen to give them a reason to say F you or to tell you to go. Because I have even now and I, I know he'll watch this. I don't have anything against him, but he has a mother. He has a mother. And from what I see, he cherishes his mom. And I don't know how she raised him, but the disrespect is what got him the He's when a, people say they love me, I never say it back because I you just walk. wrong. You coming wrong because I had every right to say what I said. But because you love me, you told me that I never told you that. Fuck you. But listen, now, I'm gonna say it live. And Tony Neal can watch this shit. You are the most disrespectful, and you don't have no kind of responsibility for your actions. You think you can fuck over people? I have been nothing but good to you. You no, think no, everything no, is Mama Scott, listen. Mama Scott, listen. Your I know. Ass, you get upset about I, it. You I'm need not to upset. And be accountable for your actions. No, no, listen. And I'm the nigga that's going to hold you accountable. I feel listen, Mama Scott. But at the yeah, end of the day, you too goddamn grown to play these games, bro. Mama, okay, because I'm not going to sit and, and you know, I, he, I've i never had a reason to not, not love him. You know what I'm saying? So he said, you don't love me. So at the end of the day, we'll get off into the specifics about it. But at the end of the day, uh, Rand is a very narcissistic person. I'm going I'm to say that. In my opinion, that's my experience, my personal experience. Not nothing nobody told me, but what he put in me right now. What? Okay, when you think about what happened, okay, you got to understand, man. I was sitting back watching this. I got a call. I got a text from you. I got a call from him. I was yes. in New Orleans at the Essence Fest. Right. I already told you I was right. going that's down Right, that's why you couldn't come to Fast Yeah, Fashion. and I was like, man, I got to go down here because right. me and Birdman already topped it up. This is what I'm going to do. And you called me ahead of time, and you also sent the booking money back. Yeah, yeah, but I'm a business and dude, though. you still though. sent people in, in your behalf. In my behalf, yeah. Okay. But that's what I do. But at the end of the day, and I told Rain that, but at the end of the day, um, you and him, you basically, you had said you was going to bring him down. Was he supposed to bring artists down? No. Now, this is where it gets twisted, right? When I contacted him, read the text message that I sent you the blueprint to, right? The first thing I did, because the young artist that was in East Texas, they was all wanting me to book him because he's always talking down about East Texas artists to them, okay? So they were like, we need rainwater down here because he need to see that we ain't just no country bumping and we got that heat. I'm like, oh, so y'all want him as a judge? Because he wasn't on my radar. I'm gonna be honest, I already had my all-star judge panel. So he was not on my radar. He definitely was not my first choice. You know what I'm saying? So I reached out on behalf of what the artist wanted. I always try to listen to what East Texas wants and try to deliver. So I reached out to him via text message and I say, hey, I explained the details specifically, the time period that I was booking him for, which is from 3 p.m. to 7, which you having to be there 30 minutes early, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be released after that if you don't want to stay for the concert. He said, let's work. He was on a flight supposedly the same day that we talked, okay? And I told him I'm, my budget for for judges, for the ones that are coming from out of town, are $500. I'm going to give you $500 to come sit for four hours, okay? To me, that's decent money within an hour's drive, okay? And he said, yeah, yeah. And I, he said, well, can you send it now? And I said, yeah. So I sent it to him, cash app. It was the wrong cash app. He told me to send it to another cash app, but I still turned around and sent him the full amount. Because I'm not thinking that I'm going to endure. Well, I got a problem you know. with that. You you got to stop sending oh, yeah, the full I amount, Mama now. Scott. You got to send the back end. You got a back end that you got to stay true to. I don't to. be liking the back end because if I trust you, I just rather get the no, business done. No, no, I know you but, trying but to do that, that but that's, you got to pay the back. You got to this, have that back end, man. This is why I'm in the position I'm in behind trusting niggas. 
You, you know what I'm saying? Pay, so pay fifty percent up front, I'm, and then fifty percent. I ain't gonna say trust the niggas. I'm gonna say some niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, you need to start doing contracts. Yeah, P- I know. Blank period. Yes, That's well, what I it got is. that underway now. So after, after all this last experience, because you would think it's like, oh, she don't got her hand hit one, two, three, three, four, Too many five times. times, right? And I always let people make it because one thing I know, I'm a prayer warrior. So what I don't get, God will. Mm-hmm. I might not be around to see it. But you better be careful who you touch. And I'm one of God's kids. I don't care how much I cuss. I don't care what I do. I got a purpose. And he He left me here to do a purpose. So when you touch somebody that he got here doing his work, be careful. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.